After receiving the instrument, check instrument accessories are complete with two handles. There's a box of flakes, 11 flakes each. Water funnel, one power card, two hammers. Carry out hammer assembly. Here are two screws, put them on. Same thing here. We installed the handle. There are two clasps above and below. These two are done here as well. Move it up and down. You just need to hear a little pop. In a situation like this, it just wasn't installed. It bounced off without being loaded. Once the handle is in place, water flooding here. This is the water injection hole. This is the water funnel. Plug it in. Be sure to open the spillway when filling. This is the overflow. Open the spillway to fill it. We could open note in a little bit. Only a little water can be turned on. Water from here. This instrument has been filled up. I'm not going to demonstrate it here. Water in here. Open it up. Find the water under the basin. When the water is filled, the water will overflow and stop adding water. Cover the overflow hole. There is no shortage of water. It's gonna work in a loop. But it needs to be changed once a month. To add water, add pure water. Try adding Watson's distilled water or apple purified water. Water quality requirements are relatively high. Open the drain hole. Put it away and then cover it up. Open the overflow hole and refill it. Plug in the power card after assembly. Press the switch button. Can be turned on. In case of an emergency, this will fill me. It's an emergency switch. Sometimes I hate it, I hate this. If you can turn it on, turn it to the right. Enter the interface to take a look. After entering the program, there's HR and SHR. HR is a fixed point operation mode. Click to see. This is energy regulation. Recommended energy from 10. This is the adjustment width. This is the adjustment interval. Just set the interval to 10. The same amount of time this light is on the skin. This is usually set to 4 or 5. Click it when you're done. The refrigeration must be open. This is pre-ignition. Click it before you get to work. When you hear a pop, you're pre-firing. The handle lights up after successful pre-ignition.
If you want to get waxed, put 640 pics on the lens for hair removal. Do you choose any pick for any project? The top two are for spots and break cards. Look at this interface. After successful pre-ignition, here's what after picking the pick. This button can be manipulated. Apply it to the skin slightly. Click here to stop when you're done. Then click back, and then shut down. If extensive waxing is required, you can select SHR. And after that is this handle. The handle is specially used for large area hair removal. Energy tops out at 50. I suggest you start with 10. Type according to skin tone. The whiter energy goes up when space. Dark skin absorbs light easily. The suggestion is to adjust while tap. Simultaneous operation must have the sense of time and microthermal. During operation, keep asking the client if they're feeling it. This handle is for large areas of hair removal. You don't have to put on a lens. Direct operation. Large areas like legs and arms. Also to click when the power is set. The frequency is about 3. Click cooling preburn successfully. After light. You're ready to operate. Apply the gel to the skin and apply it to the skin. Click stop to return to shutdown.